What is up and welcome to episode 3 of the Bronco Revival Series. Today we are just going to probably do the radial arm bushing since it's dried up a little bit. I finally got all new bushings for the uh, radial arm. Now we just got to see if we can get them out. I know it's going to be a challenge because they seem pretty rusty, but the past few days I've been spraying them with the PB Blaster to see if I can get them to loosen up so they'll be ready when I go under. I got to take out is right here. But luckily for me, so usually you have to take off the front portion to get this out. But because this piece of the bracket is riveted in. But for me, luckily, there's bolts all the way around it. So it's going to be hopefully a lot easier to get this thing out. One thing I want to do with this is I'm going to air down the front tires. Um, I know as soon as I unbolt it, the radial arms, the axle is going to want to go forward. So I'm going to try to air down the tires and then block, put a block in the front of them, to keep them from rolling forward. But I don't really have that big of a block, so I'm really hoping that airing it down will also help it enough to keep it back. So both of the tires are aired down now, so I'm gonna see what I can do with getting the bolts out. Hopefully I can. So I got that bolt out and then the bolt that's on the back of the radio arm out. But I'm having trouble getting this one off because it's backed up to a bolt and I'm, I can't get those two nuts off. So what I'm probably gonna do is cut them and then put new bolts in when I put everything back together. So it's about 10 o'clock out here and I finally got this first bolt pressed down. That thing's been kicking my butt all day trying to get the bushing to compress. It was a really big issue, but I finally got that side. Um, still got to put the other bolts back in, but that won't be a problem. And then I finally get to move to the other side. So I finally got this side done here. I put new bolts on these because these were super hard to get out because it's real tight up against the Cadillac converter to get your hand or a wrench up in there. So I put a lock nut on the other side, the ones that like grab when you spin them. So I put that on there so then the next person who does it will have a much easier time getting it out. And once I put the impact, on this it really just clamped down nice and it's super tight now the old bushings were pretty bad but yeah now it's time to move on to the next side so this side's starting to go back together i got the bushing on i just got to get the bolts on uh, there's two under here that one and that one and then once i torque everything down it should all be done so that's pretty good um took about a day's worth of work i worked half of the day yesterday a little bit last night and then I've only been out here about an hour this morning so it hasn't been too bad it's been pretty smooth all the way through what's up we're still on episode three of the bronco build um i know this episode's been drawn out over multiple days uh the radial arm bushings gave me a lot of trouble but last night i finished those up and yesterday actually while i was working the fenders came in so i'm also going to take the video and double it up and put the fenders on as well i have my friend coming over today he's going to help me out a little bit so he, he can lift and bolt and stuff. But yeah, we'll get right to that. So both fenders came in and uh, unpackaged them. They, they both look pretty good. There's one tiny spot right here where the corner got bent in. Um, I'm not really gonna, I'm not worried about messaging them and waiting for a new one. So I guess it'll just have to be all right. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is at this point. So the fenders didn't get to go on today. Um, I noticed while we were putting them on, both front body mounts are bad, so I need to get those switched out before I put the fenders back on because it's easier to get to it with the battery box out. And then once I take this out, it'll be a little bit easier to it. But, you know, I thought this was just dented, but I realized the whole thing's been over. So email the company and I'm gonna try to get a new one because it's pretty bad. Um, lastly, another piece came in the mail today, the AC switch knob that I was talking about before came in and I mean it's just pretty basic what it is so yeah I know this has been like a pretty all around video from bushings to trying to put on fenders body mounts it's been all around but I'm gonna call it there try to get in touch with the company before I can do anything else so yeah I'll see you in the next one